The French government taking the extraordinary step today of rolling out a national plan to stop an invasion. An invasion of what appears to be bedbugs infesting the country's biggest cities just months before they're supposed to host the Olympics. And these bugs are not just in their namesake beds, they're in trains, in movie theaters. They're in the big airport in Paris. Look at this, you can see here what looks to be a bed bug crawling along the armrest of one of the high-speed trains in France. You can imagine, people are just thrilled to see it. They love it. They, they do not. It stressed me out because this morning I had to take the train and I wondered whether I would find some. So I felt a bit hesitant, but at the same time, I know there are some also in cinemas and somewhat everywhere. So I paid close attention when stepping on the train and looked to see if there were any crawlers on my seat. Uh, I'm Josh Letterman, I'm just going to tell you, I don't know if I'm going to get through this. Like it is, I mean, this is an infestation so bad that the French government is stepping in to fight this battle. Like what is the plan here? Yeah, I'm so glad that we're talking about this on a Friday night, Hallie. I'm never going to be able to fall asleep tonight. So thank you so much for that. But seriously, this is a crisis for the French government because this is the kind of thing that normally households deal with at the family level. It's not the kind of thing that governments are used to dealing with. And so they really have to figure out quickly how to get uh, their hands around this and they're focusing first off on the transportation system because that's really where you have high density of people heavily trafficked areas where this kind of thing can really start to spread very quickly and so the French uh, transport minister she says that they are going to have a summit next week with the heads of the train and bus companies those involved in air travel so that the French government can explain to them uh, what they're going to do about this and the deputy Paris mayor is also calling on the national government to hold a national conference uh, on bed bugs. They want to see uh, a specific government task force uh, to try to make sure that they have an actual plan in place to deal with this spreading infestation. So how long is this plan going to take to be implemented? Like, in other words, now that the French government is putting its sort of muscle behind this, is it going to be all taken care of well before the Olympics? Because that would be, I think, an, a, a PR optical worst case scenario if they didn't get it done by, let's say, next spring. Huge nightmare if they cannot get a hold of this before uh, the Olympics. And that's a big question because these are very resilient bugs. We've all heard of people who deal with an infestation. They get their house treated. They throw away their clothes and their furniture. And then the bed bugs come back. And in fact, uh, the female bed bug can lay up to seven eggs per day. And so this is really a fast spreading uh, infestation. This is a problem that's been growing uh, in France for years. In fact, a recent study from their health agency found that just in the the last few years, one out of every 10 French households had to deal with bed bugs. And so that is why French lawmaker Maud Gattel is saying they need to deal with this right away. Take a listen. I decided to request to the Paris City Council to ask that as we near the Olympic Games, we raise awareness on the right things to do regarding bed bugs in order to prevent their presence and how to get rid of them when they show up. The economic implications are huge, potentially, Hallie, uh, if people decide to stay away from the Olympics. France spending some $8 billion ahead of these Olympics. There's also 150,000 French jobs at stake. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.